Hi, I'm Chris Doyle with Chris Doyle Fine Arts, and I want to welcome you to the studio. I'm just working on a new piece, and I thought it might be interesting to film it from beginning to end so that you could see what the whole process really looks like. Um, I've talked before when you're sitting in front of a blank canvas, um, all kinds of possibilities. It can go in any different direction you want. And when you see all the different kinds of art and how even just painters can render the same scene differently, um, it just reinforces that, that you get to go anywhere with it. But the key is you pretty much need to know what direction you're headed in. And for me, I need to know what it's going to look like at the end. I want to know how to make it work. And that really comes down to looking at the details and figuring out what the dynamic physically is going on so that it works and reads correctly as a painting. And, you know, I'm improving that all of the time, listening to other painters, looking at what they do, um, learning more techniques that improve what I know how to do, and just to give the viewer the best experience possible when they're looking at the painting. And so I have to have it in my mind's eye what I want it to look like. Now there's always, you know, wonderful accidents that happen and you decide whether or not you're going to keep that in the painting. And great things happen that you never even thought about. So, you know, you just incorporate it and then move on from there. So come along with me. I'm glad to have you in the studio. And um, let's see what happens with this piece. Hey everybody, I'm just getting ready to start a painting here. And I'm actually videotaping a tape that I did earlier. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and work out this sketch that I actually worked out previously here to get my tones, make sure I have my center of interest and I know what I'm working on. Then I go ahead and make sure I know where my interest points need to be, set my horizon, and go ahead and sketch out what I need. It's a fairly straightforward process. The interesting thing is, if you don't have the painting designed and finished in your head when you start, um, you really just flounder around and you're not sure what you're seeing or how you have to make something look in order to go ahead and uh, bring it to fruition. Now, things happen in the process of the painting. You have uh, happy accidents where the brush does something or the color tone does something that you didn't anticipate and you can incorporate that in the piece. Or you can go back in and scrape it out and uh, work again, but the clearer your vision is of what you want to achieve, um, the clearer the painting's going to be. And the more comfortable I think the viewer feels, and even as you, you feel. You know, it's interesting, sometimes you can really fight with a piece and you have to keep going in and reworking it. And you can get to a point where you just rework it a beyond what makes sense. So here I'm just finishing in the sketching. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make sure I have my values and I know where they're going to be. I know which direction the light is coming in. Um, I want to use this color here, which really seemed to... Um, emote a, a big response from folks when they saw it. This is a Viridian Green, 
And if you'll notice, I'm not using a toned canvas because I want that clear translucent white this time. Um, it's kind of something I'm, I'm playing with when to use it and when not to use it, especially in these ocean pieces. But I'm going to use this Viridian Green and then I'll probably go ahead and use um, a Cobalt Blue. Now, it's a very light sketch because I don't want the graphite to start bleeding into the paint when I begin painting it in and working it out. So stay tuned and uh, let's see what happens.
Okay, so yesterday we made a fairly daring move and repainted this whole section. I didn't do a voiceover on it, but I just was not happy with what was going on in the, the uh, surf here. And sometimes you have to do that. You know, it's, it's funny in the beginning of this series, I said that you can fight painting sometimes. And oftentimes it's that you have an idea of what you want the painting to be, but your vision isn't always detailed enough. And if you haven't worked out the, the, um, the fine details, then you can get in trouble and it just won't work for you and you kind of feel like you're fighting it. And that's what happened with this piece here. But I'm happy with this now. I think uh, we, we pushed the canvas and gave it a little more depth with that deeper tone of the blue-green. And we still didn't lose the transparency of the wave as it rolls over. So um, I think it's finished. All I have to do is come up with a name. So if you have a great title, uh, put it in the comments and let me know. I hope this has been helpful for you to kind of see what it takes for a painting to go from beginning to end and I'll do this uh, off and on throughout the year so we can kind of, you know, get a sense of the ebb and flow of creativity and how sometimes you can go in and just nail a piece and other times you really have to work on it and, and think about it and kind of work your way through some issues with it sometimes. And a lot of times it's just a lack of clarity on my part that I haven't fully thought it through before or during doing the process. You know, painting's interesting. You are constantly um, making decisions and fitting one thing against another as you're working on it. Um, it's, it's constantly, you know, Monet says you put a color down and then you put a color next to it and you, you're always making that choice. Does it work? Does it come forward? Does it go back too far? Uh, does it create a passage? It, does it do what you want it to do? And does it read the way you want it to read on the canvas? So stay tuned. Um, if you are not following me on Facebook, please do that at Facebook for crystalfinearts.com. There you will get my regular postings or on Instagram for Chris Doyle Fine Art. And, uh, you know, please follow us on the website for sure. If you haven't signed up for my newsletter, you get lots of um, special notifications and some really good events that come up. And that is at crystalfinearts.com. The pop-up will come up. Just put, put your email in and uh, you'll be included into our VIP patrons club. So thanks for watching. Any comments? If you have any questions, please let me know. I'd love to hear from you.